Hello there, and as usual, I'm Eric from My Stay Gamers, and welcome. So today I wanted to do a bit of a crash investigation. I wanted to see if there was a way of actually preserving our ships from taking that fatal plunge into a planet or even just crashing into an asteroid. Is there a system that we can imply like a modern airbag that will stop the ship from taking as much damage and allowing it to be salvaged a lot easier? Now as you can see here we have the red ship and this red ship is currently configured with no crash systems at all so we're going to see what it's like when it impacts the ground. Now it is fitted with no atmospheric thrusters so there's no resistance and there we go. As it impacts the size you can see it's completely wrecked that engine bay and a lot of the ship is actually intact, surprisingly. You can see the whole engine bay is ripped out, the reactor's been destroyed, underneath here is not very good. The ship survived quite well, but at the same time, it's not in a rescuable state. This is something that would take a few hours worth of repair to actually get up. And let's have a look at this lower deck here. Yeah, this lower deck has been absolutely obliterated. Any cargo containers or storage you'd have on here would be totally destroyed. So let's work on some solutions to try to stop the impact being so harsh. So the first safety system we're actually taking a look at is a number of extending pistons. Now the idea of this is that these pistons can extend down and absorb the brunt of the impact, but we'll just have to see how well they can do it. In most areas we've got one or two blocks clearance, and at the front I believe we have three blocks clearance, so if it is three blocks worth of damage we should be able to have this a safe landing. But I don't quite know, we'll just put it to the test. So this time we have the same situation again. Now the only advantage that this ship actually has, it has its extra added pistons. Now hopefully if these pistons work, they'll actually absorb quite a bit of the impact. Now a layer thought that I had when I was actually moving down with this ship is that I could have multiple layers of pistons. So once one breaks, we have a second layer that absorbs more, absorbs more of the actual damage itself. But as you can see, it's going straight down because there's no resistance at all from them standard thrusters. If I remove my hand from the right hand corner of the screen, should be able to see this impact and I'm hoping for a much better and sort of confident result so we'll go and try to get a little bit of a side angle here and it looks like we're actually going for a hilly area in this chance so these tests are a bit more randomized let's see if them pistons actually absorb any of the brunt of the damage so as it's impacted it looks like it's done something oh this looks quite promising actually it looks like we've preserved quite a lot more of the ship the pistons have broke the fall oh no this is not looking good Oh, I think this was just because it was on the mountain area, but the pistons did absorb, and in this area, it looks like they've actually completely preserved the front of the ship. Very nice. So it seems like we've got a very interesting solution here for the first part of the test. Let's actually head inside and see if we've got any more preserved. Yeah, we've got the whole front area of the ship preserved. If them pistons at the back would have functioned a little bit better, or maybe if it wasn't in this mountainous area, it would have worked. But I think we're going to have to go with a multiple stage piston design. And for the cost of them pistons to make your ship survive, is definitely worth it. So we're actually having a look at a second test with the pistons in a different area to sort of run out a few of the variables and we'll see just how this impacts the terrain. It's looking good. Okay, smacked right into the bottom. This time, it looks like we've took a lot more damage. The pistons have actually broken. Let's have a look within the center. It is preserving a lot more of the ship. You can see here, it's not as heavily damaged as the previous one, but we need multiple levels of pistons or something else to continue to break that fall and stop the damage occurring in the first place. So moving to the next stage of this test, what I've decided to do is add a number of more tires. So we've got a secondary tire so we can absorb a little bit more of the force. And like a standard sort of crash mechanic of a car, there is going to be multiple stages. So you can see we've got lower pistons to absorb the initial brunt, slow the ship down. Then we've got a second wave and then we even have a third wave as well. So we can really reduce the speed and the harsh reality of that impact. The only problem is at the moment is it looks quite ugly. Maybe there'll be a neater way of fixing this up in the future, but I'll continue developing in it let's test it out so we're trying out this system in an actual valley now i've just dropped it from a high altitude like i've done before and it's plummeting towards earth we can see the actual pistons and wheels on the bottom and it looks like it's hit a tree now will that cause it to actually have a lighter impact let's have a look so from that last impact the damage wasn't severe but it was still quite catastrophic in some areas it was caused a lot of damage by the trees so please avoid the trees I think that's a pretty common sort of sense thing, but we've got a tree actually through the ship here as it's broke through the first area. The tree didn't even budge an inch, but it's ripped a massive hole in the side of it. But yeah, the system did absorb a lot more of the impact. We're going to have to try to develop some different systems though as well, because I don't think the pistons with wheels on the end is bane for everyone. So for this next test, what I wanted to do is just stick some stilts on the bottom of the ship just to see how much of this block the impact would actually chew up. And if this was a viable system preserving the ship, we could have some sort of system that folds down or breaks apart. Now the idea of an emergency system is that 
it's got to be there in case of an emergency and in an emergency a lot of the other systems are broken you might have not even have power at all to the ship so you don't want to rely on a system that requires power you just want something that will flop down and work pretty much straight away so we're quickly testing out the stilts design now the idea around this system is not a permanent fixture to the bottom of the ships but have something that folds out or drops down further enough with a number of blocks to absorb a lot of the impact so this ship is going down at its maximum falling velocity let's see just what them blocks do when the impact so they break it apart and it looks like it snapped the front will preserve the back of the ship and an area that would usually be completely ripped apart has been preserved we preserved our very important jump drives and it looks like we've got the front preserved a little bit better. The front didn't do as well. It didn't spread out as much as the weight. But from the front, let's actually hold in from one of these little holes, if we can. It looks like a lot of it's been preserved. This is really important. So dropping something down under the ship before you actually land could be a priority. Or even focusing the damage in one area. So say, for instance, you come in straight vertically down, focusing all the damage on the front of that useless area of the ship. Like the viewing point will absorb and preserve the back of the ship as well. But that's just pretty much common sense. Just really interesting to experiment around with these things. I love to crash ships into planets. So the core part of these tests today was to give you a little bit of an idea of what you can do to preserve your ship. Now I'd love to hear a few more of your ideas. And this is a system that I'm currently trying to develop and work out a much more niftier and smaller, more compact way of actually preserving the ship without sticking massive blocks underneath or having hundreds of pistons that extend down from the bottom because crash landing is a reality a reality that we want to really avoid but at the same time if you get yourself into a battle it's something you want to be ready for to preserve that ship and continue on in survival anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time